Tyrannosaurus Rex and Nano Tyrannus. Are they the same, or are they entirely different? A study published this year seems to think the latter. Debates like this one happen all the time in the world of paleontology, but with Tyrannosaurs involved, that brings the argument to a whole new level. Nano Tyrannus has been a thorn in paleontologists' sides since its discovery in 1942 in Montana. In 1988, a group of paleontologists hypothesized that the skull of this individual actually belonged to a unique genus of Tyrannosaur that lived in the shadow of T. rex. The main piece of evidence for this claim was the fused sutures on the skull. As animals get older, humans included, the bones in the skull fuse together along the sutures. The fusion of these sutures can sometimes be used to determine the age of the individual. However, in 1999, a new study came forward stating that the sutures found by previous paleontologists were not visible. This study also presented that the individual had immature bone structure and large round orbits. Thus, Nanotyrannus was suggested to actually be a teenage T-Rex. To sum up a little bit, some believe it's a teenage T-Rex and some believe that it's its own species. Fast forward to 2024. A duo of scientists released a study bringing the notion of Nanotyrannus back into the light. This paper argues that enough evidence does indeed exist to make Nanotyrannus its own species, and not only that, they say that it's not even really that closely related to T-Rex. Supposedly, it was more long-limbed, lightly built, had smoother teeth, and a slimmer snout than our friend T-Rex. The study took a look at growth rings, the anatomy of Nanotyrannus, and how predators might have coexisted in the late Cretaceous. Based on a comparison with the original skull and a few specimens that were already known, the team found 150 differences in anatomy, including the skulls. They also claimed that the specimens in question had more in common with adult specimens rather than teenagers. The scientists on this paper say that for these supposed teenage T-Rex specimens to become adults, they would have had to undergo very serious transformations. Nothing sparks a heated debate quite like Tyrannosaurs do, and this one is far from over. Many paleontologists still strongly object to this paper and are not ready to give up on the teenage T-Rex. Part of the problem here is that only so few specimens have been found. Most of them have been adults with precious few sub-adults. Perhaps with time and more discoveries, this debate will finally be put to rest.